Welcome to the video. We will be installing Tronbit onto a Raspberry Pi today. My Raspberry Pi is called Pi4 with the IP address of 239. So you can use either a host name or an IP address for the setup. I will be using the host name. Okay, make sure you got git, docker, some sort of editor, and that you can do sudo as well. First let's clone the server docker compose, which is just the minimal docker compose file and the .env into a tronbit server folder. To get in there, I'm going to edit the, D, the env file, and I'm going to put in the host name or the IP address. Here's the port that will be exposed. If you're already using 8000 for something else, you can change it here. And if you're stuck in VI, that's an escape colon WQ. Now, past this, I need to be sudo for Docker. Docker compose up. Don't do dash D yet. I'll show you why. We got to clone the system apps, and this takes a little bit. A few moments later. Okay, once we see worker, we're good. Let's go to the web interface. pi 4local colon 8000. Admin, password, neutron bit. I have a Gen 1. You can pick one of these other ones if you have that. Just leave the image URL blank. You can set your location, ignore import and configuration. No apps are installed, so this is your default image. Let's go to our firmware. Put in our Wi Fi. After flashing, if you notice the colors are, bad, are wrong on a Gen 1, then click this swap colors and flash it again. We will now download the firmware with the password embedded. If you're on Windows, you might need to install one of these drivers here. And you need to download the flasher. Either use this one or there's ESP Home Flasher. Either one will work. If it's a uh, Gen 1 or Gen 2, but if it's a uh, Tronbit S3 or another one, then you need to do the one that's linked here, which is called the ESP flasher, not the ESP home flasher. Now these flasher programs start and then quit and then start automatically. So it's a weird thing on Mac OS anyway. Mm -hmm. So here's a bunch of devices that is not a Tron bit. I'm going to plug it into the USB port. Hit reload. And now I see this one here. That's it. Browse to your downloaded firmware. And flash it. I'm seeing some blue lights online as it flashes. Coughing. <coughs> OK, 
Okay, here's the boot up. Now everything went well. You should see the guy with the eyes looking back and forth, like we do here, on the Tron bit. And if it's not working, there will probably be some error messages in this log here that you can uh, try and figure out. Now that we have it running, we're going to want to come back to our terminal and control C this, and then rerun Docker Compose up with a dash D, and that will be in the background. And just remember, you can cat the readme and the yeah, git clone command is right here, and other stuff. So now we can add an app if we want. And I recommend Clock by Henry. I say I like it. I'm going to put in location here. You have to actually click it for it to get it and save. This will be a live view of what's what the last image was fetched by the device. So first pop up here and then it'll pop up on the Tron bit because the Tron bit downloads the image and then waits till it's time to show it to actually show it so it looks like it's it shows up here first and this is the preview of the app so this isn't going to be updating much for a clock app you want to come in here edit the app and set the update interval to zero that way it'll update it every time It'll render the, the new time every time it shows. So you could put it at one minute, but zero is better because it might still be lagging if it's set to one minute. And you can put a schedule here, a custom dwell time. So if you want this one app to show longer or shorter than other ones, you can set that here, but zero will be de default. And here is the main device settings. If you prefer to use WebSocket, you can uh, use that, but you will need to reflash or do the Wi-Fi portal. So the default app cycle time, if you want to linger around for a while, bring it up. If you want really fast, bring it to one. And um, brightness is here night mode you can turn on night mode so it'll go dimmer at night and you can set the hours for night mode and you can also set an app that you want but the app needs to be added prior to this selection here and if you want to save the config and all your apps you can export that here as a json and import it later if you need to do like a restore or something this is a live brightness slider, so you click it, it should display the new brightness on the Tron bit fairly shortly after. And if you have a custom app you want to upload, that would be here. Just choose a star file and then it will become available. And if you want to delete it, you also have to go to upload and then it will show up here and you can delete it. And that's it. This will search for an app. So, so the thing with files, I guess. Have fun.